Google I.O. 2015 started today and at the keynote, much to nobody's surprise, they showed us Android M, the version of the Android operating system that's following Android L, which we found out was called Lollipop. We still don't know what M is going to be called, but we do know that a developer preview is now available and we've got it running on our Nexus 6. This is our Nexus 6 that we bought through the Google Play Store, and as you can tell, we've got a T-Mobile SIM plugged in. However, this is not the T-Mobile version of the phone. Good thing though, we do have T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling baked into this image. So let's go ahead and unlock this and see what we've got. We've gone ahead and set everything up already. The setup process is almost identical to Android Lollipop, so you're not missing out on anything there. Looking right here, we've got Android version M, just like Android version L did when it was a, uh, a developer preview. And this is build number MPZ44Q. So let's take a look. I have done virtually nothing to this. This is just set up and restore from my account. So uh, I've gone ahead and uh, said okay to uh, Google Now and it's all set up. My widgets were automatically put in place. All of my other stuff here has automatically downloaded and installed. So let's go right into our app drawer where you're going to see the first change. Up at top you'll see the uh, the recent or commonly used, I don't know exactly what that is yet, um, but it could be the most frequently used apps or it could be just the, the app that you opened a little bit more recently than the others. This has been updating as I've been using it. so. I don't know if over time this will stabilize and it'll become your top four most commonly used apps or if it's just going to be the last four apps that you used, but nonetheless there it is. Your apps are now organized into alphabetical order, which is very nice and in my opinion long overdue. You can also come in and search your apps, so if you want to, you know what it's called, you just can't find it for some reason, like uh, my Wi-Fi analyzer right there really, really helpful to jump right to what you're looking for. And you, so you could tell that was pretty snappy. That alphabetical stuff carries over as well to the widgets. So if you do this, you can see here that there's no kind of ABC on the side, but it is alphabetically ordered and the widgets for each one of them are included here and you can scroll side to side. You want to see what else is in there. So we'll go ahead and open up YouTube and we'll go through this. This is the first time I've run this. So let's go ahead and look at San Andreas. So here's that video. We come over into uh, landscape mode and now let's go ahead and adjust the volume. So here it thinks that this is media volume that I'm adjusting, which I am. There's muted a lot more responsive than what we're used to with Lollipop. But the other thing is if you'll notice there's a down arrow that shows me my uh, alarms, my notifications, and the media all right there and then I can close that. So it's still trying to be smart. You'll also notice that this is the uh, active color and then the others are gray, but as soon as I switch over to that it switches to, uh, to highlight that. So you can tell which one you're adjusting just because it's the one that's uh, got the focus color set on it. Next up we saw Android Pay showed off today at the, uh, the keynote. However, there is no Android Pay on the device and Google Wallet is the only thing that comes up when we search for Android Pay. So we'll probably have to wait to see that until a little bit later on. Next up let's go to our notification shade. One thing that's new is a do not disturb mode. So we can tap on that and it will bring up do not disturb for whatever you want to set it to, for until you turn it off or for a specific amount of time that you can change. You can also jump into more settings. You can go into total silence or priority mode and there are some hints and tips in there that tells you what each one of those means. So really nice the way that they've done that. We've got to wait and see how it plays out in practice to see if there's really any improvement there. Another thing that was mentioned in today's keynote is uh, some improved copy and paste ability. So here's some of the notes that I took today. It's just a text file. I'm going to long press and if I can stay in one place on the page, you can see that long press selected the word that I was uh, pressing on and now I've got this floating bar that I can select all, copy, share, or some overflow buttons so I can do a web search and whatnot on it if I want. But I don't want just that word, so let's drag this out and you can see it's snapping to wherever I am. So it snaps to words, if I pull down it snaps to lines, so a lot better, a lot faster than 
you know, what we've had in the past. One of the other things that we saw about Android M was the new permissions manager and how apps can have various permissions that you can turn on and off. Now, I don't have any here that I've been able to see. And if you notice that says show and hide legacy, you come back in here to security. I think this is where we're going to see them when you sort by uh, permission type right here in security and down underneath apps with usage access. Again, my list is empty. Reason for that, as far as I can tell, is we were told in the keynote that for apps to take advantage of this new uh, app security model where it asks for permission to access you know, location or text messaging or something like that, it'll ask at the time that it's requesting that permission rather than at install. Well, to do that, the app has to be compiled against the new M SDK, the Android M software developer kit, and it doesn't look like I have any of those apps installed. So I can't show you that here. That will come over time, of course, but uh, it, it's one of the features that I really, really like, really want, and can't show it to you right now. This is an early preview. I've had my fair share of problems. Uh, I've already had a few crashes. I don't think this can be my daily driver, but I didn't have Wi-Fi calling before, and I do now, so I'm really kind of tempted to, uh, to keep this, at least for the time being, and see how we do, and see if I can't just live with some of those crashes. What's your favorite thing about Android M? Make sure you go down to the comments and let us know. Of course, follow us on your favorite social networks. We are on all of them at Pocket Now. I'm at Joe Levi. Thanks very much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you haven't subscribed, we've got lots more Android M related stuff coming. You won't want to miss out on that. Subscribing is the best way to stay in touch. For Pocket Now, I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.